Hey there, Sagittarius. Welcome to reading for the week of June 11th. Uh, this week, definitely check out astrojar.com for more awesome readers and astrologers. But let's see what we have uh, going on here for you at this time. And uh, yeah, it looks really good for you. You have the uh, Ace of Diamonds coming up first, so definitely a card of money and more money coming in for you as well. It's also an amazing card for business partnerships or uh, any other types of partnerships as well, even marriage, um, you know, marriage, business partnerships, friendships, any types of connections that you make at this time. Uh, they could be profitable literally, like in the sense that they could literally bring in more money or they could be profitable in other ways as well, like they make you more happy. Um, you know, you find a friend who becomes very important to you or whatever. Again, you know, there's a million ways this can manifest, but uh, it's a very good card for any type of partnership uh, at this time. So I really like to see that. Next, you have the Nine of Hearts card of wishes, card of uh, getting something you want, getting something you wish for. A couple of people have been getting this card at this time. Uh, so that's interesting. Uh, it could just be kind of like a gift from the universe type of time right now. It's also a card of victory and uh, kind of being able to reach some sort of goal that you've had uh, for a long time. It can also represent long distance relationships or new relationships entering into your life. So it could be a good love week with this card as well. Uh, having said that, I would say that for love, it probably represents the future. So again, there could be better love uh, coming in for you in the near future. Next, you have the Six of Diamonds uh, card of luck. Uh, definitely one of the luckiest cards in the deck. So very good for anything lucky at this time or just feeling lucky in your life. It's also a card of uh, financial responsibility and, you know, kind of being very financially responsible at this time. It does say that you are being financially responsible and in general just represents in, you know, kind of an improvement in your finances at this time. It can also represent like help from people around you. Maybe you get money from family or friends or something uh, at this time, uh, or it can represent things like a raise or a bonus even at work and that can come in for you uh, at this time as well. Uh, on top of all that, this card says that uh, if you have anything wrong with your car or anything like that to get it fixed now this is kind of like one of those cards of spending money as well where it says if there's anything wrong with anything like your body even if you have to go to the doctor or any like the you know your car this card says get those things fixed now so that they don't cost more money later and if you do that then it probably won't cost much now next you have the queen of spades uh, jumping into darkness for sure you know, I, I think that for most people, anything that we do right now, we pretty much have no clue what we are doing. We pretty much have no idea, like, what direction we're supposed to go in or uh, what we're supposed to be doing in the first place. You know, to me, this is a card of learning as you go, needing to learn, you know, learn something as you start some sort of new project, some sort of new way of life, a new relationship. It's kind of like a card of being in the dark, but um, it's not necessarily a bad card because it's here to make you grow and to get somewhere else. Uh, this is also a card of, um, you know, needing to be careful of uh, mysterious people. So if there's anybody around you who's like overly mysterious, that uh, definitely might be somebody that you want to avoid at this time. Um, Cause it can say that they're, um, they're maybe just not such a great person or, you know, maybe at this time they're just being a little bit weird and you don't want to get caught up in that. Uh, next, you have the Ten of Diamonds. So fortune after difficulty, great card for more money and earning more money at this time. And, uh, yeah, it seems, I mean, it seems to be for everybody so far, it's been a really good money week and definitely good for new finances, uh, coming in for a lot of people. Uh, this card can also represent finances while traveling. So it can represent making more money because of travel, like business travel or anything like that. And it can also represent you moving for a job. So if you need a job, this can represent some sort of movement there. On top of all that, it's a card of secret knowledge, as I always say, and it is a card that represents like learning something new. So again, if you need money, this can represent learning a new skill or something like that to make more money at this time. And finally, you have the four of clubs. Uh, I feel like saying an ending of cycles. Uh, so again, I feel like you are going through a process of ending like repetitive cycles in your life. And I think this is a good thing. I think it's going to lead to a lot more stability and uh, definitely just like a general sense of um, stability and like satisfaction is a word that I feel for you. So kind of like feeling satisfied that things are, you know, done just being that hamster wheel type of thing. So I like to see that. I think it's actually, that's your main message this week is satisfaction. It looks like a very, I feel like you just feel very content this week and, uh, you know, can see a lot of good things happening as well. So thank you for watching and enjoy your week.